Hey guys, it's Max. Today we're gonna to take a look at IBIS versus gimbal. I get this question quite a bit in the comments section. People saying, well, if you have really great IBIS, just like the GH5 has, do you even need a gimbal? What's the point of having a gimbal? So for me, there are different tools. It's basically the right tool for the job. I use a gimbal to get kind of cinematic smooth motion, and IBIS is great for a handheld and some walking shots. Now here I have a GH5 with the 12 to 35 version two. So this is using the latest and greatest dual IS 2.0, and this is arguably probably Probably the best IBIS system on the market. The Olympus E1 Mark II is also very good, uh, but uh, they're either neck and neck. Maybe this one's slightly better. Here I have a Sony A6300, so no IBIS in here. And the lens that I have, uh, I turned off the steady shot. So absolutely no stabilization other than the gimbal. Now, no, uh, no way is this supposed to be a comparison between these two cameras. Um, I just have one GH5 and I don't wanna keep taking it on and off, so we're gonna make it a little easier this way. But we'll see what um, you can get with no stabilization at all, other than the gimbal itself, and the really, really nice Dual IS 2.0 IBIS system. So the first test we're gonna do is gonna be a walking test, just like if you're walking and recording or vlogging, recording somebody else, something like that. I'm gonna walk as smoothly as I can with uh, the GH5 with the Dual IS 2.0 system, and then we'll switch over to the gimbal. This lens is quite impressive for the dual IES. I don't think I've seen anything as smooth as this. The next thing we're gonna test is running shots. Now, a few years ago, we wouldn't even think about running with a camera, especially one this small in hand. You're either having a dolly set up, a cart, or in a vehicle, something like that. I'm gonna try to be as steady as I can with the GH5, then we'll switch over to the gimbal. Ooh. All right, gimbal time. All right, next, we're gonna do a vlog walk, and once again, 12 millimeters, so 24 equivalent. Hey guys, this is me testing the GH5 with a really nice dual IS 2.0 system for vlogging. This is vlogging with the A6300 on a gimbal. We'll see how smooth it is. And of course, I can't see myself the framing because there's no flip out screen. Now I'm gonna simulate kind of like a parallaxing Michael Bay type shot. I'm about 70 mil equivalent on both lenses and we'll see how they do. All right, so our last shot's gonna be simulating a slider doing like a revealing shot. In this test, we're gonna compare how it is just having a steady shot holding the camera onto a subject, how a camera with no stabilization at all compares uh, to the really nice dual IBIS at about 70 mil equivalent. All right guys, so that was a quick comparison between using a gimbal and a really, really nice IBIS system. I have a lot of different uses that I do with my gimbal and we just showed them off in this video and saw how this compared. Let me know your guys' opinions and what you thought in the comment section below. And are there any use cases where you can replace a gimbal with just a really nice dual IBIS system? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and enable notifications for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.